Hello everybody, it's Matt from RealCoreanBlog.com. Thanks for joining us here live on YouTube. Of course, if you're looking for more Real Caribbean news, information, fun, advice, everything you need to have a really awesome Real Caribbean cruise, well then be sure to check out RealCaribbeanBlog.com. Welcome everybody, happy Friday. TGIF Cruising Cat is our first chatter in. What is going on? Jay is here and got the notification. Love it. We've got Jay Carruthers, welcome. Arletta, hello TP, hello Chantra Williams. Alex Downs is here, welcome Alex. Dennis is joining us here. Hello Andrew, hello Ian, what's up? Uh, my way, hope I said the name right. Cheryl is here, William Johnson. Martin Kelly is joining us here. And Martin reminds me, we gotta start off today's YouTube Live with the most important question. How many days until your next Royal Caribbean cruise? Type it in chat right now. Let's count down together. Uh, Martin, 22 days to Oasis. Hello, Walter. Hello, Dat Dude. Love the name. Going on a cruise March 29th on Harmony of the Seas. Ian says, I love Royal Caribbean. Then you're in the right place, dude. We're all here with you. Walter, welcome. Jay Carruthers, seven days and a wake up. I think that means a week away. I like that. Matt Banville is here. Welcome, Matt. Mark Pizzo, what's going on, brother? Welcome. William Johnson going on a waste of the season, November 10th. Andrew Winfrey, waiting on a cruise, May 2020. Uh, Dennis Babcock is going on Jewel of the Season, 119 days. Um, Arletta is going on Explorer of the Season, 30 days. Nice. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to put Walter in a timeout here. Walter, you got to, like, chill, dude. You said hi. That's good. I heard you. Uh, cruising guy going on brilliance 117 days. Ian is going on Symphony of the Seas. Must go on cruise. Yes. Uh, Robert Cardona going on Oasis on October 28th. T Bracken, welcome. OKC Cyclist going on Allure October 14th. Lorna going on Symphony in January. Rich going on Allure April 2020. Jay's going on Symphony 393 days. My next cruise is actually on Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas. I've got a couple of cruises leading up to this cruise right over here. The Royal Caribbean Blog Group Cruise on Symphony of the Seas. Woohoo! Andrew's been scouting the Quantum Ships. I love it. I love me some Anthem of the Seas, dude. They're great ships. Really, really good. I think you'll like it quite a bit. Uh, Cheryl going on Jewel of the Seas in 174 days. Um, Arletta says, you rock, man. Aw, thank you. That's so nice. Oh, you. You're going to make me blush on YouTube. Thank you, Arletta. Uh, but guys, happy Friday, TGIF. We're trying out the YouTube Live. We usually go live on Periscope on Fridays, but I thought, I'm a wild and crazy guy. Let's uh, mix it up. Uh, Andrew, so you're scanning the quantum ships. Any suggestions? Hey, Anthem of the Seas, Ovation of the Seas. I don't know where you live, Andrew, but great ships. Absolutely, you should definitely try a quantum class ship out. You'd love it. Uh, Paula Carroll going on Liberty of the Seas in October 14th, as in like next week or so. That's awesome, Paula. Stacy Finch going on Harmony of the Seas January 2020 for our 15th wedding anniversary. Love it. Uh, Pat Hall's next cruise is out of Port Canaveral on uh, July 2019. Can't wait. Ian wants to know how are the nightclubs on Royal Caribbean? Awesome, a lot of fun. You know they don't really they got rid of the dedicated nightclubs. They used to have dedicated spaces. They said eh, we're gonna get rid of that actually. And uh, but they still have dance parties, DJs, the whole shebang. You'll be able to. Party down, if that's still a thing, well into the evening. Cruising Cat, good to try new things. Absolutely, Cat. I love being able to, you know, just, whatever's easiest. Maybe we'll discover something awesome. Maybe we'll never talk about it again. Uh, let's see here. Alex, been on two Harmony of the Seas trips so far. That's awesome, Alex. I love me some Harmony of the Seas. Geezer244, 19 days till Majesty of the Seas. Uh, great podcast. Thank you very much. Debbie. Going on Brilliant 71 Days. Debbie, I was just on Brilliant of the Seas last week. Got off the ship on Monday. It was awesome. You're going to love Brilliant of the Seas. There's lots of great content for you about Brilliant of the Seas at RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Uh, Jessica going on Symphony of the Seas February 16th, 2019. Red Baker going on Oasis April 2020. Uh, Ethan is here. Like this YouTube a lot. They have a Blaze nightclub. That's true. And I forgot about that. Actually, there are still some nightclubs on uh, certain ships. Namely, the Oasis class ships have, like, Dazzles, and they have Blaze, and it still exists in some forms, but not like it used to be. But there's, don't worry, there's going to be a late-night party on any roller coaster ship you go to. As long as people show up, they'll do it. 
Dad Dude wants to know, have I ever had a virtual balcony? I have a regular balcony. My kids use the virtual balcony or promenade view, which is better. Ooh. So the virtual balcony is it's a great question. I have stayed in one. They're more like a replacement for the uh, inside. It's like an upgrade from an interior room rather than a replacement for a real balcony. It's basically better than four walls with no windows kind of situation. It's really nice. Promenade view is really nice as well because it's an interior room. We have a view of the Royal Promenade, which I absolutely love. Um, so it kind of depends that dude, I would probably go with whichever room has more square footage. Quite frankly, they're both offer advantages and disadvantages. Um, I like the bay window that you, ha uh, on the Royal promenade room, you have a little bay window that jets, like gives you a little more space and it's great for people watching. Love that. Leon's next cruise is, uh, adventure or anthem. Which one? Oh, probably anthem. I'm not sure which, which AOTS Leon there's adventure or anthem, uh, leaving, uh, May 31st out of the, to the Bahamas out of Bayo, New Jersey. Uh, Kat says, I love the theme dance party. 70s, the white, the 70s night, the white hot party, the red dance party. Yeah, I'm getting too old for those things, Kat. I'm like, can you please turn down the music? It's a little too loud. I'm like that guy at the concert. Like, if we all don't stand up, we can sit during this show. And no one ever listens to me. Tyler Diedrich, happy Friday to you. Uh, the new YouTube live. That's right. Tyler's got 449 days until his Freedom of the Seas cruise. Ian wants to know, how often I go on cruises? Not often enough, if you ask me. I'm, uh, I'm This year, 2018, for the calendar year, I will be going on eight sailings, which is an all-time high for me. Last year, I did about five, I believe. Uh, let's see here. Vlog channel, first cruise, August 2018. Nice. Which ship are you going on, dude? Um, Joe is here. Welcome, Joe. Glad to have you as well. Cheryl joining us here. Alert of the season, December 16th, out of Miami. First Royal Caribbean cruise. Holy moly, Cheryl. You are going to have like an amazing life-changing experience in a positive way because you're going to go on this cruise cheryl you're going to have such a great time there's only be one problem you're going to want to go on again and again and again and again and again and again, and again. it's a great problem to have oh well, yeah you're going to venture this season nice uh what time is it here it is 9 30 p.m over here in uh the u.s but arletta i'm glad you're joining us here live uh let's see here uh, Debbie is here. This is your first live chat. Welcome, Debbie. My name is Matt. I am from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. This is actually our first live YouTube in, I don't know, forever. I'm not even sure. But we're trying this out here. Usually we're live on a different platform uh, every day of the week. Sometimes it's Periscope. Some days it's Facebook Live. Some days it's Instagram Live. And now we're trying out the YouTube because why not? Uh, Stacey says she had a promenade room on Independence. The people watching was classic. Kat says, you old... I'm an old man slight, trapped in a slightly younger man's body. Uh, Debbie wants to know, which drinks are free in the main dining room on Brilliance of the Seas? Uh, water. You know what? Like tap water. Uh, tea. Black coffee. Um, iced tea. Lemonade. Am I missing one? I feel like those are the, the ones I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, <laughs> Cat, no, I, like I said, I, I can't. I'm not as young as I once was, but I was once as good as I ever was. You know that song? That's me right there. That's that's like, they wrote that song about me. Uh, vlog show. I wanted to do a Disney cruise, but I was thinking Royal Caribbean would be the best one. Yeah, dude. Royal Caribbean all the way. We're Team Royal Caribbean. We're heavily biased, but Team Royal Caribbean all the way. Um, let's see here. Ed Tolleson, welcome. Uh, Alf and Teddy Ruxpin. Yes. So we got the 80s corner back there. Uh, Dad, dude, how do I follow you when the other platforms kind of sir? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. On Facebook, our Facebook uh, channel is just, uh, just go to facebook.com slash Royal Caribbean blog. One word, just like our YouTube channel here. Uh, Periscope is the RCL blog. I know that's like, I'll post the stuff here. Uh, here's our, let's see. This is, uh, you, this is Facebook. And then Periscope is this there you go that dude I just typed it in chat so there you go you can find us on there instagram sorry i forgot instagram uh that's definitely not my instagram is that so we follow us all on there that dude you can join us every almost every single day hanging out talking real caribbean together dawn is here welcome dawn when i think of dawn I think of the Anthem of the Seas, Royal Caribbean Blogger Cruise, and I also think of Explorer of the Seas and going to Alaska. And then I also have to always ask Dawn, Dawn, can we go back to Alaska yet? I want to go back. I had such a good time. 
Um... Cruising Cat says, I will get you dancing on the Mariner Cruise. Oh, oh no, my back, my old war injury. Uh, I got a, a lot of work in the morning. I'm not much of a dancer. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, Joe, all the social media, I am, I'm trying my best. I'm trying to be everywhere I can, everywhere you guys are, right? That's, that's the name of the game. If everybody was like, hey, Matt, let's all go on MySpace Live. I don't know if that's a thing. I'd be like, great. Let's go try it out. Uh, Ethan says, should they play an NHL, live NHL game on a ship that has an ice skating rink? <laughs> well, the problem is the ice skating rink is far, by far not a regulation size rink, so probably not. Uh, Dawn says, I can't wait for Anthem. Says, yes, that is one of our upcoming Royal Caribbean blog group cruises. These are Royal Caribbean cruises in which I invite all of you guys to come join us for and cruise together. Because you know what's better than a Royal Caribbean cruise? Going on a Royal Caribbean cruise with friends. We've got a number of great group cruises lined up. In uh, 2019 and 20, even edging into 2020, you can join us for as many as you'd like at royalcaribbeanblog.com slash events. And yes, everybody is invited. If you can hear my voice, you are invited. Uh, Kelly Reynolds, 400 days tomorrow. That dude wants to know, if I get the ultimate dine, drink package, does that include top shelf drinks or are they not included? No, it includes it. I mean, there's a couple of exceptions like the, I don't know, like the Quavassier that's like $700 a glass. But uh, any drink... Um, up to twelve or thirteen dollars in uh, in price, so that's a lot of liquor, dude. I don't think you'll have any problems unless you got some really high end tastes. Uh, Jay says there needs to be a way to multicast and aggregate the chat into one place, and we'll miss it you that way. You know what, Jay? I've looked into those kind of so 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 solutions. Um, I'm not happy with any of them, Jay. I kind of feel like inevitably I'm ignoring somebody. Uh, it's really hard for it to work that way. Not to mention part of the fun, Jay, is. The fact that you guys are seeing each other's comments in here. Also, Facebook Live, for what it's worth, doesn't allow you to rebroadcast to different... You can't multicast. It's against Facebook Live's terms and conditions. So, there's that. Uh, Denise, going on Symphony of the Seas. Nice! I'm going on Symphony of the Seas for the first time in November. I've got three sailings lined up in November. Can not wait. I am super excited for this brand new ship. There's nothing like going on a ship you've never been on before, especially when it's brand new. Oh, I'm so excited for it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Debbie is here. Uh, Debbie, welcome. Hit it hard going on Independence of the Seas. Uh, Bernice is going on the Bahamas in three weeks. Can't wait. And Boosterling, Boosterling 98, Mariner of the Seas in March. Nice. I love it. Nice. Very, 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 very nice. Guys, thanks for joining us here live on YouTube. Hope the, uh, Video quality is good and everything's working well. Uh, we are hanging out here talking real cribbing. We may work some YouTube, more YouTube lives in here. Um, but obviously so far I'm pretty happy with how it's working. It seems like you guys are responding well. It seems like people got notifications and the chat works and you can talk to each other. I'm seeing some of my good friends here from uh, Crucips TV in here, which is even better. Uh, Debbie says, I have been watching your vlogs and reading your website. So excited for my first Royal Caribbean cruise. So far away, but loving all the tips. Debbie, I'm so glad to hear that. That means a lot to me. And, and that, I mean, I, that it's, it's the highest compliment you can get to somebody who writes blog posts, does live video, any kind of things is that I read or watch or what I consume your stuff and it's really helpful. Like, yes, I'm not talking into a void. <laughs> uh, Cat says video quality is good. I'd hope so. Actually, I gotta like up my video game on YouTube Live. You go really crazy with some of the uh, HD video you can pump out there. Adam, Harmony of the Seas for our 25th anniversary first Royal Caribbean cruise. Wow! First of all, congratulations to 25 years, and you picked a great sailing for it. Ethan, what's my favorite food to eat on a cruise? So I mean, sushi. I love sushi everywhere. Cruise ship, not cruise ship. I love Sabor, the Mo uh, Sabor Modern Mexican, which is on some ships. Uh, some great Mexican food, no question about that. The steak at 150 Central Park, oh my gosh, don't tell my cardiologist about it, it's so good. Uh, Sydney Forrester, awesome to see you live on a Friday. Heck yeah, heck yeah, glad to be here. Uh, vlog channel, any tips for what to do on your first cruise? Dude, lots of stuff. I mean, arrive to your cruise ship early, research the ports you're going to visit, research the ship you're going on. We have a lot of great resources actually at RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Uh, we have a, actually a section called Getting Started. And this web, this part of the website is really aimed at first-time cruisers, people that are going on a Royal Caribbean cruise for the first time and are wondering things like, you know, the, you have so many questions, right? It's your first cruise. You're not exactly sure what to expect. Well, if you go to RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, click on Getting Started right there in our main menu. 
this is like a jumping off point. I designed this page to be like, okay, here's like a funnel for you to go into and you're going to find lots of helpful information like how about how much the Royal Caribbean cruise cost? What to know before you book? The difference between Royal Caribbean ships? How about all about food? Choosing a stateroom? How do gratuities work? What's included in your Royal Caribbean cruise? And a whole lot more. This is all at royalcaribbeanblog.com and then click on getting started in the main menu. And again, I designed that for you guys to make it a little easier for planning ahead. Uh, let's see here. Let me back this up. Uh, dat, uh, dat dude. Um, oh, wait, let me back it up one even more. Um, yeah, no, I got my mouth today. Dat dude, last question. Is there a charge for the Ultimate Abyss ride? There is no charge for the Abyss ride. Zipline is included as well. It's included in your cruise cost. So you are definitely good to go, sir. You can ride as many times as you like, provided there's no line for you. Uh, Debbie will be asking lots of questions. Excellent. Excellent. John Blanick checking in. Loves the YouTube option. I'm glad you're enjoying it too. Awesome. Uh, Lorna, what is the Broadway show on Symphony of the Seas? The Broadway show on Symphony of the Seas is, uh, Hairspray. Broadway musical Hairspray, right? Oh, good morning, Baltimore. All right, that's terrible. Even I admit that's bad. Uh, I do see Cindy Donzi in the house. Cindy booked a February cruise on Brilliance after seeing your scope. First time sailing out of Tampa. Nice. When are you going in February, Cindy? Because I booked February also. Maybe we're on the same sale. Uh, let's see here. Kelly says, definitely prefer this YouTube live versus Facebook live. Whoa, shots fired. I like that. Kind of, uh, uh, but I'm glad you guys are liking YouTube live. I'm liking it. It's easy for me. Uh, either would I ever work on a cruise ship? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't mix business with pleasure. I enjoy the cruises that much. Uh, Busboy, Wasted the Sea, January 2019. Not sure if better to book Aquaventure through Royal Caribbean or Atlantis website. And Atlantis website won't make 2019 day passes available yet, by the way. Well, well, if they can't sell it to you, Busboy, you're kind of have one choice. Um, but in, in Nassau's not this big of a deal. I'd probably see whichever one's cheaper. But obviously, right now, you only have one choice, which is to book it through Royal. But don't, keep in mind, Busboy, if you book an excursion through Royal Caribbean on their website, you can always cancel it uh, and change it to something else if you decide later on you want to change your mind. So if you book it today for that, uh, which you're going on January 2019, so you book it today and then in December you change your mind. Something else becomes available or whatever. You want to go do something else, you can always cancel it. No penalty. So that's true for the excursions. Good way to go. Uh, Cruising Cat wants to know, do you know when Harmony is coming to Port Canaveral as a home port? Next year, Cat, I don't remember exactly when. It's late spring. I don't remember the exact date. Soon. Uh, Debbie wants to know, how long are the shows on board Brilliance of the Seas? Most of the shows are like 4, 30, 45 minutes max. They're not on long. They're, they're fairly reasonable, easily consumable. Barry Ballard, what is going on, brother? Welcome. Suzanne Pasta, my next Royal Caribbean cruise is the 20th of this month on Harmony of the Seas. I love, love, love. Harmony of the Seas. It is my favorite Royal Caribbean ship, Suzanne. You picked a good one. I like that. Who, Cindy, you're on the February 9th sailing. You're going on right before I get on. You're on the sailing right before me, Cindy. I'm on the one after you. Uh, that dude has another question. Whoa, 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 You promised me no more questions, dude. I'm just kidding. You can ask me as many questions as you want. I just wanted to point that out there. Uh, that dude, I'm going on a nine-day cruise out of Fort Lauderdale from March 29th to April 7th. Have you ever been on a nine-day? Yes, I have. I've done two nine-night cruises. One on Explorer of the Seas. I want a navigator. It's awesome. You know what the best part about it, that dude, about a nine-night cruise? is when you get to day seven, you're not crying because you still got two more days to go. Love it. Uh, is there a Broadway-style show on Brilliance of the Seas? Cruising Cat wants to know. Uh, there's a Broadway review show. Uh, Broadway, now and forever. It's, it's a bunch of Broadway songs they play. But it's not a Broadway show. You know, like, there's no plot. It's just a bunch of songs. Whoa, Jay, first super chat. Thank you for super chat. <laughs> Any thoughts on playing me at Cozumel, Jay? Thank you for the super chat. Um, I have not been there yet. I'm a little weird. Like, on the one hand, Jay, it looks pretty cool because there's a massive water park. Uh, playing me is a, uh, um, is a water park, essentially, in Cozumel. And there's a lot of things that are going on there. Um, it looks really cool. So, on the one hand, I love how many water slides there are and the beach and the pool. Like, it screams family vacation to me in a great spot. On the other hand... I'm a little leery of two things, of, and I've heard different things from other people that I kind of feel like these are probably uh, a concern potentially. Number one, I'm concerned about overcrowding. It's like, if you look at any 
cruise brochure or anything about Cozumel, inevitably there's an ad for Playa Mia. Like, I'm always worried I'm, it's going to be too crowded. I don't know if that's necessarily the fact. It may very obviously depend on how many, people, how many ships are in port. But number two is the food. You know, we love authentic food, and I'm not sure. And what I've heard from people who have gone is that the food is nothing special. Not bad, nothing special. So if I'm in Cozumel, I'd rather have some more authentic stuff. But uh, I, I think one of these days, Jay, i got to go there in the name of research. In the name of research, i got to take my kids over there and, and check it out for myself. DW wants to know, when will, when will Royal Caribbean release their summer 2020 schedule? So typically, Royal Caribbean, Royal Caribbean has not said so. So this is just now, at this point, I am now speculating. Let me make that very clear. Uh, but that being said, Royal Caribbean typically follows a pattern. And what, from what we could tell last year, what they did in 2017 is they released some itineraries at the end of 2017, like November-ish time frame, and the rest in February, March of this year. So DW, I expect that to be kind of the case. So some here in November this year. The rest in February, Mar March, April, whatever it is of next year. Uh, let's see here. Uh, crazy guy, what a super chat. It's just, it's be basically a donation. Kind of like um, Super Hearts, but you can donate a certain amount of money. I don't know, I don't know how it works exactly, but you make a donation. As you can see, Jay, I'm going to use Jay as an example here, if you don't mind, Jay. It was $4.99 and it gets, it's like, it's a tip jar is what it is really. Uh, Debbie Stranger, uh, Strager, sorry, Debbie, how many looked amazing, watched Like Father a few times because of it. You know what's funny? I haven't seen it yet. I was on the ship when they filmed it, but I haven't seen it yet. Ugh. Uh, Busboy says, you're right, I can cancel an excursion anytime. We'll take that advice and book it now through Royal Caribbean. There you go. YOLO, book it. Uh, Ethan, should Royal Caribbean do hull art like Norwegian does? Oh, God, no. Please, please. No, no, no. Look, I'm biased and all that. I love Royal Caribbean, but please, no hull art. I mean, I can admire certain things that other cruise lines do, but please, no hull art. It's, it's so gaudy, in my opinion. I'm not an art expert. I have no design sense, but geez, I see those, and I'm always like, ugh. I'm just not my style. <laughs> um, Debbie's booked an excursion to Playa Mia. There you go. Sydney, things to do with younger children under 10 in Alaska. Do the uh, the puppy dog petting stuff. We did that, Sydney, on our recent Royal Caribbean cruise. We went to Alaska. And uh, we have two kids who are seven and three. They loved the, um, what was it called? Dog. I'll find it. Just found the photos of it. Oh. The Alaska sled dog. This one is my favorite. I'm going to show you uh, who asked me this question here. Sydney. Sorry, Sydney. Um, if you go to realcreamblog.com, I have a review here of the Alaska sled dogs and mushers camp in Juneau, Alaska. And yes, you get to pet puppies. He's so cute. Oh, you're a good boy. Who's a good boy? You got them. So you go over here. You get to ride the sled, which is pretty cool. There's the sled you ride. And then you get to see the dogs. You get to pet the dogs. But the best part, look at that. Look, that's me petting the puppies. He's a good boy. And then you get to see other. Look at these puppies. Aww. He's so tired. Sorry. Couldn't help myself. Anyway, that's a great excursion for kids. Also, Mendenhall Glacier City. My kids loved Mendenhall Glacier State Park. Just running around, walking down the trails. There's a, um, there's a, uh, what's the word? Um, waterfall. They really liked it a lot. Uh, let's see here. Crap, yeah, Super Chat's kind of like, uh, Super Chat is kind of like Super Heart. Except in Super Hearts, you don't really have the, it's not really dollars. It's obvious. I don't know how to explain it, but. I think you get it. Uh, Kelly says, what are you hearing about the text feature being rolled out on the Royal Caribbean app? Are passengers giving it positive or negative comments? We hope to utilize it on a layer with several couples we will be with. Actually, you know what's funny, Kelly? I haven't actually heard anything from anyone who's actually been able to use it because it just rolled out. It's being tested on a layer of the seas. But uh, I have pretty good faith it's going to work out really well. I think a lot of people are um, uh, pretty happy. For it. I'm excited to try it out. And there's no cost to it. So definitely go for it. Let me know, let me know what you think about it. Um... Let's see here. Uh, Brad and... Brad this is a long name. Brad and Resilient Rebecca's Royal Cruise. They let us hold 11-day-old puppies. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, hit it hard. Traveling with a wife and seven-year-old. Do all three of us need to purchase a drink package? No. Um, if you elect to buy... You hit it hard as the adult or your wife. Elect to buy an unlimited alcohol package. It's only plus the alcohol package. Then the other adult in the room would be obliged to buy the alcohol package as well. Your seven-year-old does not have to buy any drink package, and I would advise you not to buy a drink package for your seven-year-old. It's probably a complete waste of money. Uh, Penny for gold may be something fun for the kids. Yeah, I've heard not so great things about it, but maybe for kids, for adults, eh. But it is fun. 
Uh, and Jordan, you got to see Like Father. It's awesome. It's on Netflix. I know. It's it's, it's something we. One of these days, we're gonna have a quiet Saturday afternoon or something like that Sunday, and we'll watch it then. I'm gonna. I want to watch it. Um, Jay says, I think you get a bigger percentage uh, with Super Chat on YouTube than with the Super Hearts on Periscope. It's hard to imagine it being any less than getting what do I get on you on <laughs> Periscope. So that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Kevin O'Brien just booked Lure of the Seas for March 17th, your first Oasis-class ship. You're going to love it, dude. I love the Oasis-class ships. It's just a, there's so much to do on there. It's so, like, it's a whole different cruising experience for the better. I really am a big fan of the Oasis-class. Uh, Red Baker wants anything you recommend at Private Island Labadee. Go to the beach, dude. Hang out. If you want to spend money, if you're looking to do something a little special, the cabanas or the beach bungalows are really a lot of fun, but you should feel fine just hanging out at the beach, dude. It's a great beach spot. Um, just bring your suntan lotion, sunglasses, and you're you're off to the races. Um, Debbie wants to know, how far out can you start actually looking at packages, excursions that are on the website? It's a good question, Debbie. There is no set answer. It kind of depends on your sailing. Uh, I wish I could give you something a little more uh, concrete, but the reality is it varies from ship to ship, sailing to sailing. So there's no consistent policy that Royal Caribbean has laid out, unfortunately. Um there you go. I'm caught up on comments. Uh, Brad ag agrees with me about booking in advance. Absolutely. The earlier you book, the better. Anything. That's true of anything. I think one of the mantras I have about booking Royal Caribbean, anything, cruises, excursions, drink packages, whatever it is, the earlier you book, the better. You are you just stand to benefit from it. Hello, Bryson. Thank you for joining us here. Appreciate it. Uh, guys, welcome. My name is Matt. I am from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We are hanging out here, uh, hanging out, talking Royal Caribbean together. If you have questions, Please feel free to jump on in. Carissa, at least for a cruise tomorrow. Holy moly, I'm jealous. And number two, most importantly, Carissa, good luck sleeping tonight. I don't know about you. I am always super excited for my cruises. I can't sleep the night before. Um, that dude, there's an aqua theater on Harmony of the Seas. How early should we get there to get good seats for the show? Is the pool available for use by guests when the show is not being performed like the ice skating rink? No, the, the you can't go swimming in the aqua theater. Um, there will be tickets distributed. That dude for the show. My recommendation is definitely get those tickets in advance. They're free, no cost to them. Um, you can book them for, via the Cruise Planner website. Uh, definitely do that. And that way you can assure yourself of a spot in there. But even so, then you want a good seat. I would say at least 20 minutes beforehand, if not maybe even closer to 30. If you're really particular about where you want to sit. And keep in mind, like the first like two rows, you can get wet in. So you might walk in and be like, hey, look, there's all these rows that you're in front. It's okay. Just keep in mind you might get wet. Might get splashed. Anne wants to know, are there plenty of activities for teenagers on board Ovation? Oh my gosh, yes, Anne. The uh, Ovation of the Seas, the Quantum Class ships, are like, were, if you, in my opinion, like designed for the Oasis Class, for, for teenagers, I mean. Oh, you'll love it. Hello, Mega Mop. Love the name. Kat says, and look for deals and promotions, reprice often to save a ton of money on two sailings of sales. Absolutely, Cruising Cat. Great advice. You definitely want to make sure that you look for those, you know, new sales and Whenever there is a cruise planner sale or, or a Royal Caribbean fair sale, I try to post it at royalcaribbeanblog.com. So, uh, Jay says you can swim in the Aqua Theater if you do the belly flop competition. I stand corrected. Jay, you are correct, sir. <laughs> uh, Ethan, what's your first lunch meal on a cruise? Always, always, always in the Windjamere. Windjamere. Uh, Antoine, I missed your voice on WW Today. Uh, well, you can still find me here. I'm still here. I'm here like, well, not on YouTube necessarily, but I'm around. You can hear my voice pretty much every day of the week on some social media channel or another. Uh, Carissa, what do you do when you first get on the ship? Eat. Go to the Windjammer. The Windjammer. Always go there first. Uh, Brad says Park Cafe because it's less crowded than the Windjammer. That may be true, but I, I'm, a, I'm a... It's it's Hotspur family cruising tradition. We get on a ship, we go to the Windjammer. That's how I know a cruise has started in my mind. Uh, hit it hard. An inexpensive thing to do in Costa Maya and Cozumel. Costa Maya, I've heard really good things about the Crazy Lobster, uh, with a K, K-R-A-Z-Y, Lobster. It's a great little bar, beach, you'll love that. Cozumel, uh, Paradise Beach. You'll like that. There's no cover charge there. You just pay like three bucks, five bucks to sit down, and you you only pay for what you use. That dude is, in your opinion, is the Aqua Show worth seeing? Oh, yeah. At least once. Heck, yeah, it is. How long is the sail away party? Debbie wants to know. Eh, 30 minutes or so, 45 minutes. Depends how long how many people are actually dancing. <laughs> Hello, Cruise Views. Welcome. Uh, Megamop, is Royal Green better than Carnival? Well, I'm totally biased, but I believe it is. 
Um, vlog channel still here. Just want to be ready to learn. Well, that's what we're here for, dude. Glad you're here. Thanks for joining us here. Uh, Michael, so someone told me, someone told me you have to come to the port early, just like the airport. When you check in, you get a time to check in. I don't understand. Nah, not exactly true, Michael. Um, for Royal Caribbean, they will recommend a time for you to check in. It's a rec it's a suggestion, not a requirement. You can show up anytime you want. Um, but the boarding is usually segmented. Like, they'll start off with sweet guests. Then they'll work their way in reverse order through Crown and Anchor Society, Royal Caribbean's customer loyalty program, and then the general public. But in general, Michael, the earlier you arrive, the earlier you will book. Okay? That's kind of how that works. Um, but there's no, uh, I guess, it's not quite like the airport, but... There's some truth to what your friend said, but it's again, it's not quite the same. Ethan, do you sleep in or get up early on a cruise? I always want to get up early. I end up sleeping in a little bit. Like I'll let myself sleep till like maybe nine o'clock at the latest, but I, it, it it kills me inside. I want in my mind, I want to wake up at like six a.m., but like I try to wake up and I'm like, uh, hey, it's seven thirty. I just I can't actually physically do it. Uh, Brad says, you have to see the Aqua shows. Absolutely. Carolyn Smith, 150 days to your first cruise. Carolyn, which ship are you going on? Um, Mega Bob, what's the best Royal Caribbean ship in your opinion? Oh, they're all great, dude. My favorite is Harmony of the Seas, but I'm telling you, dude, I would not, uh, there's not one ship I wouldn't go on in this fleet. Cat says, 10 or 10.30 is my ideal time to show up at the port. I couldn't agree more, cruising cat. Absolutely. And wants to know, is a busy cruise time the week before Christmas? Yeah, Christmas week in gen obviously depends, you know, when sorry, there's like something in my eye and it's really bothering me. Um, depends obviously when the week, but the week of Christmas, the week of New Year's is really popular. The first two weeks of December sorry, Mike. It's really bothering me. I can answer the question, just ignore me playing with my eye here. The um the first two weeks of December are pretty unpopular times of the year because everyone's got vacation time coming up for Christmas, so they kinda are like, Why am I gonna take vacation now? You actually get some pretty decent cruise deals the first two weeks of December. But uh, Christmas week, you know, the last two weeks of December, and New Year's obviously very, very popular. Uh, Glenn is not Royal Caribbean, but going on Norwegian Epic in 42 days. Nice. Well, it's a cruise nonetheless. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Glenn, for joining us here. Ooh, Carolyn, going to Radio to the Seas. It's a great ship. Fabulous, classic Royal Caribbean experience. Uh, G-Force, best thing to do on a short day in Grand Cayman. Seven Mile Beach. Just head, take a taxi. Uh, when you get in, the, t the tender will bring you downtown. Take a taxi to Seven Mile Beach. Chill out there until you have to come back. Ruth Ann Iverson, going to your first Royal Caribbean cruise next May on Radiance. Alaska Bound. I did my first Alaska cruise ever on uh, Explorer of the Seas this year. It was amazing. Holy moly. Uh, it was so, so good. Uh, big shout out to uh, Sherry from Cruise, cruise Tips TV. She was like my Alaska uh, whisperer. She knew everything about, about Alaska. And I picked, in, picked apart all the information I could. In fact, we actually shared some of that great information about Alaska on the Royal Caribbean blog podcast with uh, me and Sherry. We were both on that. Uh, well, I'm always on the episode, but Sherry joined me on that episode to talk about packing for an Alaska cruise. You can find our, all of our podcast episodes at royalcaribbeanblog.com slash podcast. Uh, let's see here. Joe loves Sherry. Me too. I saw her first. Uh, Ruth says, uh, Sherry's the Alaska guru. Couldn't agree more. Ethan says, why does the first day go slow, then the other days go by really fast? You're right. And then the day, and of course, the week before work takes forever. Forever. Uh, Brad, didn't you love the ice skating show and explore? I do. I love the ice skating shows in general. They're a lot of fun. It's not like ice capades or something weird like that. It's actually really, really cool. Kevin, go on to Roatan for the first time in March. Anything fun you to recommend? Ask me, Kevin, when I go. I'm going in, in November. Ask when I get back, dude. I'll be happy to help you out because I want to give you up-to-date information uh hit it hard first night done right do you get do you get any say in what restaurant you get yes absolutely hit it hard they'll sign you something but you can change it once you get on board the ship you'll have no problem uh let's see here oh brad recommends the jolly roger and Roatan. thank you brad appreciate that is there going to be a new ship if so when will it be built yes there's actually like five ships being built, uh, under construction or on order right now the next new royal Caribbean ship is spectrum of the seas that'll debut next spring 2019 uh, any tips for a solo cruiser going for the best price? Caroline, yes. Uh, book as early as you can. Look for solo rooms. They're not available on all ships, but some ships do offer uh, rooms designed for solo cruisers, which means you do not pay the single supplement price. But also, if you book really far in advance, you can often, oftentimes find really, really good prices. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, Dad, dude, on Voyager, there's a place where you can watch them control the ship. Oh, yeah, the, the Peekaboo Bridge. Uh, there is not one on Harmony, Dad, dude. It's only on Voyager class ships. So Adventure, Voyager, Navigator, Explorer, and Mariner. Uh, let's see here. Cat, uh, Cruising Cat, thanks for joining us here. As always, appreciate it. Uh, I definitely can't. Pass a I hope I said that name right. Going on Symphony of the Seas, May 2019. Hopefully the new Port Terminal A. Oh, yeah. It'll be open for you, dude. I'm actually going to go down to the grand opening of Terminal A in Port Miami uh, November 2nd. So I'll have some live coverage for you guys over there. Either you've ever been to South Beach. Which one? Like Coco Key? Uh, which South Beach? Uh, Miami Beach? Uh, Rebecca, any tips for an Australian New Zealand cruise? Um... I mean, I think a lot of the tips that apply there apply to almost any cruise you take, you know, in terms of, you know, book the ship as book the cruise as early as you can, research the ports you're going to, arrive to the port early, uh, get to your port, the, the port you're leaving from at least a day early to avoid any travel delays impacting your ability to get to the cruise. Oh, Ethan, Miami. No, I've not been to South Beach in Miami. Uh, not yet, anyway. Uh, Teresa Bass, Oasis of the Seas, October 21st, our first Royal Caribbean cruise. Nice. Love Oasis. Susan, why are some islands called K with a key or key and K? And how do you tell the difference? It's a great question. I just eventually someone tell it. Basically, it's like Key West, Coco Key. Um, it's a Caribbean thing. I think that's really what it is. I, I am not a uh, an entomologist. The entomology of it, I don't know. But the uh, it, it's one of those things. I just like, oh, that's how you pronounce it. Okay, but actually, it's a really good question, Susan. I don't know the actual reason why. Um, that dude, if you're running late from an excursion, will the ship really leave you? Or do they just say that? They'll really leave you. If you're on your own, if you book an excursion on your own, yes, they will really leave you behind. If you book through Royal Caribbean, they'll make sure that they, you get back on the ship one way or another. Uh, by the way, and if you book their cruise through Royal, an excursion through Royal Caribbean, you know, obviously if you're running a little bit late, the sh they'll ship away for you. But if the ship needs to get going, Royal Caribbean will actually make arrangements for you to meet up with the ship later. But if you're booking on your own... You're literally on your own, so make sure you plan ahead and get back with plenty of time. When you're talking about excursions, um, third-party excursions, I love doing third-party excursions. You know, excursions on your own, not through the cruise line, but always plan to get back at least, I always tell people, at least two to three hours before you're supposed to. Give yourself plenty of padding. Don't cut it short. Don't be like, oh, I have to be back at 5.30? Okay, I'll show up at 5. Like, no, 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 no. You want to be there way earlier than that. Matt Johnson going on November, uh, leaving in November on Liberty of the Seas. First time in Royal Caribbean. Dude! You're going to love Liberty of the Seas. Let me tell you something. you got to check out the water slides, especially the tidal wave slide. Is the Liberty of the Seas is the only Royal Caribbean ship that has the tidal wave water slide. It's a raft slide in which you go down uh, on the raft. You go down like a really, really quick, and you go up a near vertical wall. You have a moment of weightlessness, and you come sliding back down. It's really, really cool. Only on Liberty of the Seas. No other Royal Caribbean ships. Uh, do my eyes see me, or is that Jobu for Major League behind me? Yes, that is Jobu. I got my 80s corner back there. Uh, I got Jobu. I don't want my camera's out of... There we go. I got Jobu. Uh, there's a Demogorgon over there. Speak and spell. You guys can keep busy looking at all the junk I got behind me. Uh, hit it hard. So here's the Fort Lauderdale Hotels near the port. Uh, there are two hotels I recommend. Cambria Inn and Suites. C-A-M-B-R-I-A. Cambria Inn and Suites. Or the Embassy Suites right by the port. Really good spots. Can't go wrong. Carissa, going on Brilliance of the Seas. Have you been on that one before? Dude, I was on Carissa. I was on Car Carissa. I was on Brilliance of the Seas last week. Like, I was on her on Monday. It's awesome. What you want to do, Carissa, is go to this URL right over here. Uh, read everything I did. Oops. Without the plus sign. Get rid of that comment. Remove. <laughs> Uh, hello, you're supposed to remove, I think it removed it, but anyway, yeah, I was on there, uh, Chris, I had an awesome time, I've been on Brilliance three times, which was just on her last, last week, this time last week, I was, oh, so much happier, <laughs> it was so good, holy moly, you're gonna love it, yeah, check it out, uh, that's a bunch of live blog posts, uh, Chris, I got one more thing for you, hang on, you want more, I got you more, I got you covered, Carissa, how about this, how about, oh my gosh, come on, how about the top 10 Brilliance of the Seas Hidden Secrets? <gasps> Here you go, just for you, Carissa. Top 10 Hidden Secrets on Brilliance of the Seas. But wait, there's more, Carissa. How about top 7 must-do activities on 
Brilliance of the Seas. Look at that! It's all waiting for you. Uh, Justine, I give Joe, I give rum to Jobu. That's right. Don't, don't, do not steal Jobu's rum. It'd go very bad for you. Uh, Ethan, should Royal Caribbean do outdoor dining? I'd love to see. Well, they do have it on the Oasis class ships, Ethan. Right in the central in Central Park, you can do that. Um, Keisha, I asked about the thermal suite on Symphony. I called and they had no clue. What's up with that? Don't worry about that, Keisha. They'll have it. Go to the spa on day one. Ask about the thermal spa suite. They'll give you a tour of it. You can purchase the pass. Uh, I'm not sure why they didn't know about it, but eh, it's not it's not unheard of for some of the agents. They do a really great job. They answer a lot of questions, but they may not know it all. That's okay. I don't know it all either, but I do know on Symphony they got the. They have the uh, thermal spa over there. Uh, and Jordan says, love Brilliance. My avatar picture is me sitting in the captain's chair on Brilliance Bridge Tour. Nice. I took a really unflattering picture in there, so I didn't share it, but I know exactly what you did. Uh, Lorna, any recommendations? Where to stay in Miami? Yes. My favorite place. I'm, going to, I'm trying a new hotel in uh, November, so I'll have a review of that soon. But uh, I said this one, the um, Intercontinental. It's not spelled right. Intercontinental, we have a full review of it at RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Intercontinental Miami Hotel Review. Uh, I'll just paste that in the chat for you guys. Um, it's a great hotel. Really, really nice. It's not the, not the cheapest hotel, but it's a really nice one. I think you'll like it quite a bit. Uh, Brad, how much is the thermal spa pass? I think it's like $79.00. For one person and ninety nine dollars for two people for a couple, uh, and that's good for the whole duration of the cruise. It may also vary, obviously, how long your your particular sailing is. I seem to recall it in that ballpark, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see here. Justine says I didn't end up booking Mariner. Life happened. Oh, that stinks. But nonetheless, hopefully, hopefully, you still have another cruise to look forward to. You gotta have at least one cruise booked. So you have something to look forward to. You know. Um, G Force, I'm. Glad you're finding links helpful. And again, I think you're having an awesome time on Brilliance. Uh, Christoph, going on Novation in two weeks. Singapore to Sydney, second ever cruise. Love it. Uh, cruising through life. Cindy wants to know, how about some recommendations for excursions in Southern Caribbean? St. Thomas, St. Martin, St. Lucia, Tortola, Barbados, San Juan, etc. Woo! That is a long cruise. All right. St. Thomas, Megan's Bay. Go there. Uh, St. Martin, do a... Uh, do a... Do, get a a driver for the day, go have breakfast in Marigo, the capital, M-A-R-G-I-O-T of the French side, go to Grand Case Beach, go to then Gamaho Beach to watch a couple planes land, and then go back to Phillipsburg where your ship docks and check out the shopping downtown. St. Lucia, go to the Pitons. I have not been to Tortola. Barbados, go to the beach. There's lots of beautiful beaches there. San Juan, don't book any excursions. Just get off the ship and walk around San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, old San Juan has... It's an amazing city, really easy to get around. I love it. Uh, Ethan, favorite place to travel that's not a on a cruise? New York, New York. It's a hell of a town. The, the Bronx is up and the battery's down. New York, New York. It's a hell of a town. Uh, Red Baker, is it worth it for the thermal suite? The website doesn't have much information on it. It can be, right? If you go enough times, it can be worthwhile to you. But the value is really dependent on yourself. To go enough times to make it worthwhile. You know what I mean? It's just like a drink package. If you take advantage of it enough, absolutely. Great place to relax. Uh, Brad and Rebecca are again the St. Martin horseback riding. There you go. Uh, Jay, how well has Marigo recovered so far? It's it's The French side is, is not fared as well as the Dutch side in terms of recovery. But Marigo is doing all right. It's all right. I think uh, Orient Beach is still recovering quite a bit, Jay. I would not recommend going there quite yet. But um, Marigo should be fine for like, you know. It's a lot easier to get a restaurant back up and going than it is a beach. Um, let's see here. Flea is going on Jam of the Seas on New Year's Eve, your first cruise. Woohoo! What a great way to celebrate New Year's Eve. I love that. Uh, Justine says, I do have a trip booked, but not a cruise. <gasps> well, Justine, you got to book another Royal Caribbean cruise. You got to book something. Just look forward. I think you got another trip, but you need a cruise to look forward to. Uh, Cassie says, We booked our first ever cruise on Liberty of the Seas next September. Yes. Yes, love that. You're going to have an awesome, awesome time. Debbie, thanks for the great tips. Check out our, uh, the, an old cruise compass. Uh, gives me an idea of what activities to do on board. Absolutely. Well done, Debbie. Great. Uh, Taking advantage of it. Thank you for the kind compliments. And guys, thank you for joining us here on YouTube Live. Our first time. I think we got to do this again because I think this was a resounding success. 
Uh, thanks for joining. My favorite ship, Jessica wants to know, is Harmony of the Seas. Um, have they ever seen the Carnival Pinnacle? I have not, Ethan. Uh, but I'll have to look for it later. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Thank you for joining us here on... Uh, where are we? YouTube Live. Again, we're live every day. Tomorrow, we'll be live on our Facebook page. If you want to come join us over there. Uh, Facebook.com slash Royal Caribbean blog. Come join us on there to talk a little more Royal Caribbean. Uh, but maybe we'll have to start making Fridays YouTube Live Fridays. Maybe that's our thing. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for joining us here. I do appreciate it. Uh, check out RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com for plenty more Royal Caribbean news, information, fun, advice, everything you need to have a great cruise. It's all at RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Guys, have a great rest of your evening. Enjoy. Do something fun. And we'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. See you guys later.